and I besides recruiting can't really do anything else because everything is kind of fine one sacrifice is needed it's a little annoying that all these little provinces are trying to get non-aggression pacts because I'm so far away from them and there wouldn't be a big point for me to try and take care of them anyway Ready for orders. recruit a unit we sold a lot of glassware that province made us a fortune Romans are fighting like they never did before, but this took another city which is Korea and They lost it. That's just insane. They're having a proper fight Extreme Two generals died Ready. Oh. Ready for battle. from natural causes. On on our way. Okay, that will do. And I'm just probably left with more waiting. I'll have three armies with uh, some kind of ballista. Still need to complete two armies that will invade Egypt. Three of those armies will have two units of ballista each so that they could make. I'm not sure how many holes in the wall one ballista would make, but I wouldn't be surprised if one. Ballista creates only one a hole in a wall that can be breached using troops with one load of ammo. But uh, I decided I'm going to risk it and have only one Ballista in each army for the tribe. and uh, hopefully that will make two breaches and it should be enough Fort Masters report more troops a finished training for for 170 per unit to maintain that's uh, a lot more than what my cheapest and um, up until now mostly used infantry would normally a cost token. me
Armenia. Promotions have been secured for some of these generals. I don't want to have too many units that are very influential because I just don't want a civil war and I do want to avoid a civil war so I'm disbanding this army I think should I do that oh yes I have to but isn't this I'm checking if there are any weaker army just like this one that I can have as a replacement. So this army got lucky. They'll be the new garrison in the north at Tulifordum uh, against Soebi. And my other troops are going to be re recruited. So to say, Ready for orders. they are going to Iberian artillery puts respect into enemy hearts. There is nothing wrong with testing enemy coverage, giant bow and arrow. And which one is more effective now? Shots per minute. It looks like um, missile damage. Onager was a little bit better. Ballista. Bow and arrow. Yeah, maybe I should build uh, something else instead, which is an Onager and not Ballista. It has more damage. And against walls. It should be more useful. And these will just be waiting until my other three armies show up and then we just sail. We sail and uh, It's going to be a uh, unprecedented. It's like Columbus discovering America. Five massive armies of the best infantry Iberians can feel are going to land and incredibly massive. Egyptian territories. Alright. Yeah, these guys were quite weak. Look at their experience. They even lost experience. Most of our troops are being recruited with two chevrons, bronze chevrons. And in this case, these troops, they just got. One chamberlain. So they were either fighting a proper battle and lost lots of experience from uh, recovering their horses, or they were just too lazy to train. Which wouldn't be surprising anyway. because they don't really have anything to do. Besides that one army taking out a very strong slave rebellion that came from the Roman lands, 
While the spirits of our ancestors have no use for gold, they do know that their living children think differently. As you can see, boy has been washed by by Celtic Confederation. No, not Celtic Confederation. By the Romans. The boy lost the territories. Romans finally expanded themselves. And Egypt is expanding themselves too. That's incredible.